You can say goodbye, Molly. You can say goodbye and it's fine. Well done, well done, well done. Thanks. You're doing great. Ah, uh, hello and welcome back. Oof, I am overwhelmed just thinking about filming this video today. We've locked in a full day to film because that's how long this is gonna take. You see it in the title, I am doing something that has been long overdue. I do declutter my closet, I would say every two to three months. However, this is like the big daddy. This is the true clean out I've been waiting years for, honestly. Because as you guys know, I've lost weight recently. I did my weight gain journey video and my weight loss video. And so I went from a size four to currently a size zero. So I went from a size 26 inch waist to a size 24 inch waist. And so I've lost about 15 to 20 pounds and in the times over the last few years where I've cleaned my closet out, there's been my my like size zero clothing items that I like held onto thinking one day I might lose weight that I have to kind of dig through now that I am a size zero and have lost the weight where it's like, okay, I've kept these for years though, hoping I'd one day be able to wear them again, but maybe they aren't even in style anymore because I've held them on for so long, dreaming of fitting into them again. And then there's like the size four pieces that like definitely aren't gonna fit me anymore that I just need to get rid of, even though I have a fear that I'll gain the weight back it's like molly stop you just need to get rid of the clothes they are two sizes too big and it's fine you just need to get rid of them and if you do gain the weight back you can just get new clothes like stop hoarding stop holding on to things that you don't need i get sent free clothes often because of the nature of what i do i also do a lot of fashion review videos. Fashion is an industry I've always dreamed of working in and I love that I actually, people like actually care to hear what I have to say about fashion. So I do a lot of review videos. I do return most of the stuff. Like if I buy stuff for the video and I don't like it or don't think I'll wear it, I do return it. And if I can't return it, I do donate it or give it to friends who fit, friends or family. My mom is like the same size as me pretty much. It's certainly a little bigger than you right now. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you'll probably fit the size two and four clothes that I won't fit anymore. So yeah, there's just a lot to go through and and I'm 26 and a half, you know, I'm not getting any younger. It's less than half a year away till I'll be 27. And some of the stuff I've held on to since I was 23. And like, I'm not 23 anymore. I just need to move forward with my life. And I feel like I need to, to just fully do like a cleanse, a full cleanse, a deep, deep cleanse. I feel like half the stuff in my closet, it's like I don't even like anymore. I'm just holding on to it to not be wasteful. But in holding on to it, I am being wasteful. Because if I give it to a women's shelter or I give it to friends or family of mine that will love it and will wear it, that is a heck of a lot less wasteful because it's going to good use. So I really encourage you guys to do the same. I feel like I'm gonna have multiple piles. By the way, I've known for like a good week and a half that I wanted to film this video. I was finally ready. I've been wanting to film it for months, but I'm finally ready to film it. And so the closet is an utter mess. It's usually, please attest to this Neve, very organized. Yes. It is currently a hot mess because I knew I was doing this. So don't judge me. But I feel like I'm gonna have multiple piles, like clothes I need to try on to see if I'll keep them or not. Yeah. So I'll have my Neve pile, my friends and family and donation pile. And then I'll have the clothes that I'm keeping. So those are the piles that I'll have. Lord knows I'll probably think of even more piles I need. Probably the maybe. I'll probably have a maybe pile. Anyways, I also want to mention that I do work with a stylist to try to help reduce my waist. My amazing stylist, Dana. Check her out on Instagram. She's been a huge help to me over the last year, year and a half now that we've been working together because I go to events all the time and I'm always taking Instagram photos and the nature of being somebody who wants to work in fashion is I constantly have to have new fashion. I constantly have to show up to events in new looks. I have to keep up with, you know, the trends and what's happening and try new things out and that gets expensive, number one. And wasteful number two. So I have tried my best over the last year and a half to focus on working with a stylist so that when I do my big events, when I do large photo shoots, I'm simply borrowing the clothing. And that's something on my own. I, I'm not able to do that. I don't have the ability to go to a store and be like, hey, I'm just gonna borrow this for an event or a photo shoot and I'll take it back. That's not how it works. But stylists have that ability. So Dana has really allowed me to change up my look, try new styles, and have great new changes of outfits for photos and events without having to purchase and they can just go right back to the store and be purchased by somebody who really will love and use it a lot more than I'll have the ability to use. So that's been a way that I've been trying to reduce my waist and now I'm going to reduce my waist 
by getting rid of stuff that is going to waste by just sitting there and not being worn. And I will say there'll probably be a follow-up haul to this, buying new clothing, because I do, I do need, I know I have a ton of clothes and I'm getting rid of a ton, but I do have a need for clothes that fit me. I'm in like a real space right now where I don't have clothes. I don't actually have that many clothes that are like truly properly fitting me due to my weight loss. So if you do see a follow up haul of clothes I bought post weight loss, that's why. Also, you will continue to see try on hauls from me and reviews from me as a nature of, of what I do. However, just know that a lot of that stuff does get returned and or donated. So let's finally venture to the closet. Scary. Uh, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I know it's bad. I know it's really bad. I can't even open the door all the way. Okay. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Uh, Look at this. I knew this was happening. I mean, this is all fine, but it's the, uh, yep. Okay, okay, you good know what we're to gonna do? Out. Good time to clean out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get like a good start on this. There's no way you guys can sit through all of it. So we're gonna get a good start on it and I'll update you in a bit. Okay, so this is why I need my mom because I've, over the past few years, I do my closet cleanouts alone and I do get rid of a lot, but I also hold on to a lot and I need somebody else to just be like super brutal with me. So this is a dress that I absolutely adore. It fits me perfectly now. It makes me feel like I'm Cinderella when I wear it and I've hardly gotten to wear it because I gained my weight shortly after I bought it. Keep at least wear a few more times. Cause it's so beautiful. Yes. Okay, I am gonna keep it. So, so far my keep pile is huge and everything else is very tiny. <laughs> But that's because I, I'm only just clearing off the floor right now and the stuff that was on the floor was on there because it was either just out of the laundry or because I just wore it. So of course, it's gonna be a lot of keep. We're getting rid of so far two sweaters and a pair of sweatpants and in the maybe I have a tank top, a sweatpant and a hoodie. So <laughs> that's where we're at, okay? Don't judge me. We're not even finished the floor yet. Floor is cleared. Step one, complete. <laughs> now, for all of this. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna try to like speed round it. I know the stuff that I'm not gonna get rid of much of, it's gonna be jackets. Jackets are my thing, I admit, I love jackets obsessively. I'm very hard to get rid of any of those. I'm not gonna yeah. be getting rid of many. I really buy jackets that I love. So it's more mostly like sweaters that I wanna totally purge and stuff like that. Like workout gear, I wanna totally purge. I also have to keep in mind that like, of course some things I'm not wearing much right now. We've been in quarantine for almost six months. So I don't wanna just like, oh, I'm not wearing this, get rid of it. Cause it's like, well, not, nobody's wearing this stuff, but one day I probably will be again. So I'm gonna try to keep like a balanced approach that way. Yeah, where should we start, Neve? Up here? Up there, yes, let's go. Okay. Let's go over that end. this side, okay. I, it's cute, but it is cute. Have you ever worn it? <laughs> <laughs> no. It was free. I, I got it sent to me for free. I've never mm. worn it, but I think the message is good. It is. It'd make a great Instagram photo. What else you go with the outfit you're wearing right now? I'm gonna have a keep for I Instagram. I probably would take that, actually. Actually, I was thinking you would. This color would look great yes, on you. Yes, it's very nice. So this is the... Molly will take a photo in it, and then it'll go to Neve. Nice. I've lost enough weight to wear this again. There you go. I had gotten... I had gained too much weight to wear it. And now I have lost enough weight to wear it again. And it's adorable. I think it's cute and it has like a lot of sentimental value to me. Because we bought that for a reason at the I airport. I bought this in New York City airport after I finished filming my Casey Neistat collab. Ah, there's no way you're getting rid of that, that one. That was really special. That's yeah. the first major collab I did. He really was the turning point in my YouTube career. And this is like the one piece of that video I have. And I can fit I'd it again. I'd love to again. see you wearing it again. I can fit it again, Neve. Okay, I have to keep this sweater. Oh, you only got that, it's adorable. I have to keep this. It's from my best friend, Brayden. It's so cute. It is a youth size. So definitely going to be keeping this because again- We're some... making great progress. I know, <laughs> sentimental value. I'm getting rid of this. Yeah, I love it's it. cute, but- I love it, I love it. But hey, it's got it... holes in it. <laughs> That's why I love it. You never see stuff like this. I love it, but I've had it for four years. Yeah. I've gotten wear out of it. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh God, it's already so hard. Why is it so hard for me? That's adorable. I love this. I only got it la this year. Yeah, it's okay. I'm getting rid of this. Literally never wear it again. Oh, I'll take that one. You have one. I don't. We only got one. No, you used to have one. You it was probably... yours. No, no, mom. We used to have, I got three of them. One for me, one for you, one for my old assistant. Really? My mom's a donating fiend. So what she probably did was <laughs> donate it and now she wants it back. Thanks. Neve pile. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep going and I'll update you in a bit. Okay. 
have three lavender sweaters and they're all very different cuts, which is why I have three. But I do feel like if I'm cleaning out, I should maybe get rid of one. I would get rid of the last one. This one? Yeah. Okay, donate. Donate. I feel like we're making good progress. Look, there's yeah. all these hangers here of stuff oh, I've gotten rid of. Right. And hangers back here. Oh, that's good, Molly. So, so far, yep. I feel like I'm actually doing well. You are. I think you can let that go now. I wore it a lot. Yeah. And I feel like it's just getting, yeah. like, not nice anymore. Yeah, I think it, it would be still good to donate, though. Yeah, it's definitely good enough to donate, but I think I've worn, I've worn it out in my closet. Yeah. Ugh, this one's hard. Yeah, I know. Because I love it. And, and the, the dye runs. good. Oh, let it go. I need to have two other lavender ones. Okay. Oh, I do there love it. Go. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, okay? I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is really freaking cute. Yeah, I think you're a little over, though. I'm not mini anymore? Well, you definitely are mini. Do you think you'd wear it? Let's put in the maybe. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. If it was cropped, it'd be a definite keep. You could cut it. And I could chop it. Yeah. So I might chop that. Yeah. Because I think if it was cropped, I'll wear it a lot more. Yeah. I think you could let that one go. Would you wear it? Nope. This is an expensive one too, but I don't wear it. You don't wear it. I don't wear it. Molly, you don't freaking wear it. Get rid of it. There we go. Donate. You can say goodbye, Molly. You can say goodbye and it's fine. Well done, well done, well done. Thanks. You're doing great. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. We're on the first section and may I say, I think I'm doing really well. Look how much gap there is. This was literally so tight that I couldn't move anything. And look at all those hangers on the floor of things I'm getting rid of, boom. Girl, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, and it's liberating. These are the only sweaters that I am keeping, and these are the only long sleeves I'm keeping. Boom, done, feeling good. Isle is growing, Ooh. and you know what? I think I did better at this section than I thought, because once again, this section was like so packed I couldn't move hangers at all. And now, I have this whole section free. So, Yay. I feel like, given it's my favorite section of all my closet, I did pretty well. I'm really proud of how I'm doing. I don't know about you, Neve. I think it's great. I'm getting rid of stuff I've held on to for years. For Look at the pile no now. Reason. Look at this. It's like, okay, so I didn't get rid of much back here because it's a lot of work stuff, event stuff, sentimental pieces from big award shows I've done. So that's didn't get rid of much. Here I got rid of quite a lot. You can see we have much more room here and once again this whole rail like all the others was so jam-packed i couldn't actually physically move anything back and forth so the fact that we have like this much room now says a lot do you want to show all the piles out there mom Ooh, that's the the donation pile which is very 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 big and giveaway yeah and this one is keeping and this one is Try on. What do you think? Uh, I definitely think keep that. Yeah, I think for like party, you never know, yeah. New Year's, things like that. It's it is really cute. It's from Topshop. I haven't gotten too much wear out of it. I've worn it like probably th two or three times. So I feel like I could get another two or three out of it before I pass it along. Definitely gonna keep that. I think this is cute. It's so cute. Keep what do that. You think? Yeah. Because you know what? The only other leopard top I have, I'm gonna get rid of. So okay. I'm gonna keep that. Boom! It was literally packed to here. And now, look at all this room. Okay, look, we've got all this room over here, got all this room here. So we've done all the hanging clothing. Now we have all those boxes to dig through and we have all the drawers under my bed as well as one drawer in this. I think this might take a week. We're doing well. I feel good about this knee. <laughs> We're doing well. We are. This is gonna take a week. <laughs> We should grab the boxes and bring them out to my bedroom so we can do the boxes and drawers out there. And, uh, well, here's what's up out here. I don't know if you can get out. Walk over. There you go. Oh, oh god, okay. Got more piles out there. Good luck. Wow. Wow. Crazy. We have got the four boxes out here now. We've got swimsuits. We've got shorts. We've got jeans. This says pants. It used to be pants. It is now matching sets. Okay, let's start with matching sets. I don't like this. I gave it a bad review. I stand by the bad review. I don't like it. I'm gonna take an Instagram photo just for the sake of taking an Instagram photo. I don't like it. Get rid of it. After my photo takes gets taken tomorrow, it's gone. Love this though, on the other hand. This mm, is what I wore in the Charlie D'Amelio collab. That. I'm absolutely obsessed. Got it on Revolve. Absolutely keep. I love this. Yep. Keep. Fits again. Didn't fit for a while. Kept it because I wanted to fit it again one day. Now it fits. Love this. Right, Mom? Mm, yeah. Love that. I love, love, that, that. love that. Again, the lounge set. Gave it a bad review because I don't like it. I still don't like it. Like, I only, I reviewed it in this video here where I reviewed three different loungewear brands 
loved Casabella, loved MeUndies. Can't even tell you how much MeUndies I've bought for me and other people since that review. I truly do find a lot of my favorite brands from review reviews, but in that I also reviewed Lounge and I really didn't like it. I think they don't fit nicely. I think the quality doesn't match the price or the hype that you see online. I think it's just a kind of overhyped Instabrand. So get rid of it. Why do I keep it if I don't like it? Get rid of it. I think this set's cute. Mm -hmm. I think I have to keep, keep it. Keep that. Yeah, I have to keep it. I really do like it. I've had this set forever, but... I love it. I love it. Okay, okay, good. We got it in New York. We got it in New York right before my first ever VidCon. My mermaid set. Keep that. Yeah, I think it's really cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. I knew I wasn't going to get rid of much of this because I'm going to go back later and reorganize it in here. But yeah, I knew I wouldn't be getting rid of much of these because I do love all my matching sets. Jeans. This is a really tough one. Jeans is truly something that when you fluctuate size, gets tricky. So I have a lot of jeans in here. Like it's packed to the brim, but it's because like some are zeros, some are twos, some are fours. So that's where I'm really gonna have to try to purge because it's like I kept keeping them because I was like, I might lose weight, I might gain weight. So I think, like I said at the beginning, I think if it's not a zero or a two, if it's a four, I think I have to get rid of it. These are a two. I'm pretty sure these are a 25, which is a two, correct? 25, yeah. But they are a bit big on me. For sure. I think these would look really cute on you, Mom. Yeah, I'll take them for sure. I don't want to get rid of them because these are... They're beautiful. They're these expensive. These are expensive. Yeah. They're beautiful. They're unique. Mm -hmm. They're just a little too big on me right now, but I think on you, yeah. they'll look great. Turn around. Are these the ones with the stars on them? Yeah. I love these. They're too big. Mm. They're too big. Oh, God. Are they way too big? I think they're a 25. 26. Yeah, they're a 4. Mm. Shoot. Oh god, this is where it gets so difficult, you guys. I think they'd look cute on you. Yeah, I do too. I think they'd look cute. They're really comfy too. Mm -hmm. They're super stretchy. Okay, mom, those are for you. Thank you. See, that's why I didn't buy jeans for years. <laughs> No, I, I don't masses care of them. how big these are on me. Oh, they're I'll gorgeous. Make them work. I like big jeans. So those two are skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. So if they're too big, it looks stupid. Yeah. Like skinny jeans should fit. These are a loose pair of jeans. So if they're too big, it doesn't matter. It looks cool. It belt just looks it. cool anyways. Yeah. So I'm keeping those. God, these are the mother's flare mm, jeans. They were gorgeous. Which are so beautiful. They are insanely comfortable. Mom, let me show you this level of stretch. Oh, and that, that's my level of like, stretch. Like they're basically leggings and they're flared. They're so trendy. They're so cool. So mom, ah. they're going to you, babe. Okay. I can this. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Now to my leggings and fitness drawer. Okay, let's photo this because we've never photoed it. Okay. So it's gonna go into a photo pile. Okay. Doing my favorite drawer, my pants drawer. Pants, boots, and jackets are my favorite thing in the world. And I just grabbed these pants and I was like, I think they're gonna be too big on me because of my weight loss. I love these pants so much. They're from Aerie. They're so cozy, really lightweight, my favorite kind of fit. So I just threw them over and these are like a thick pair of pants, right? So I threw them over just to check. Yeah, I think they're a little too big post weight loss. Well, I think they'll look great on you, and I think you'd wear them all oh, the time. Oh, yes, I would love those. God, I'm actually, it's one of those pieces I'm sad about. Aww. I truly love these. There is a lot you guys haven't seen. My God, it's been a long day. We started at 12.30, it's now 5 p.m., so. Glad I set aside a whole day for this. I've gotten rid of about six, seven, eight pairs of shoes. I have, I think, seven or eight bags filled for donation. My mom or friends, I've separated all the piles. I'll show you all that in a bit. This is the, I have to try it on stuff. So that's what I'm gonna start doing now. And then there's some stuff to get hung back up in my closet. All my bras are also too big now. I lost two cup sizes, super fun. So yeah, I have to throw out all my bras and get new ones of those two. My goodness. <laughs> Quite, quite something. Okay, I'm gonna get trying on. So I remember when I bought this skirt, which is very Sarah Jessica Parker, I think. When I bought this skirt, it was at Boa Boutique, and it was a medium, but I loved it so much, so I bought it and I got it taken in, and it's still now too big, but I feel like it's fine. Oh, I think, it, yeah, I think it's like, fine. I think, yeah. If I tie it, yeah. I know it's. I, don't, I feel like I can still make it work. What it's do so you think? pretty. It's so pretty. It's I so think you unique. have to keep it. Yeah, I'm definitely. Keep it. That's a beautiful piece. Yeah. Yay. So far for the try ons, we have some yeses. I like these jeans from Garage. Love these. These are so nice. I've had them forever, but definitely a win. And some those, like this skirt and a few other pieces. But, you know, that's why we try on. They're way too big on the waist, and they're just like not flattering at all like mm. i feel like this just make look at this look at my butt right now no 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 this just says nothing for my shape and it's a shame because i only wore them once because no. i got yeah once where did you get those england i <gasps> got them on the tail end of my weight gain 
So I only wore them once and then I lost the weight and now they don't fit. So I really hate that. I feel so wasteful. It's like, act, like I'm actually just getting depressed. I feel like really sad right now because I just like look at all the stuff I have to donate and I realize that having the amount of stuff that I have to donate in itself is such a privilege. And I just feel like sad that these things have not been worn and that's why I'm getting rid of them because they need to be worn and loved by somebody. So this is one of those outfits that I was talking about at the beginning of the video that I've like held on to hoping one day I would fit into it again. And I do. And it's so cute. I don't know. I think it's really cute. It's adorable. I love two-piece sets and it's just so summery and light and comfy and cute. So yay. It's Keeping a keeper. It. Yay. Yet another piece I held on to hoping one day this set would work again. And it does. And it's gorgeous. Yay. I'm it's so, so happy I've held on to this. Ooh. It's romantic. Ooh. Third and final one that I've kept in the hopes it would fit, and it does. By the way, all three of these are from American Eagle online only exclusives, but I got them three years ago. That's when you came to LA. I got them when I came. I got because them. Because it was hot. Remember we came yeah. and we were hot? So like... I got them two and a half years ago. I got them two and a half years ago. There's... Oh, I just love that. It's fine. It's like it's so cute. pants underneath and then this like skirt over top. Are we sure of the weather right now for it? Yes. We have come to the end. Exhausting. Of a very long day. I feel tired, I feel grumpy. <laughs> okay, so here's everything I'm donating to a women's shelter. Here are things that just need to get ironed and hung up. Here is for some of my girlfriends. I'm gonna drop it off at their house tomorrow. I warned them, I'm bringing them size five shoes, which is their size, and um, clothing that I thought they would like that is their size. So I just specifically picked pieces for them. And then over here is stuff that my mom is gonna try, and if she likes it, she'll keep it, and if not, it'll be donated. So there you have it. And teddy bears are going to storage. Doesn't want to storage. My teddies, I love my teddies. So I know that when everything is hung back up in my closet, because my closet is still a bit of a disaster zone. Should we show them? Yeah, let's just show you guys. Come this way, right this way, right this way. There's still quite a bit to do. So maybe tonight, Molly. I have to hang all of this up. It is a lot less than it looks because it's filled with hangers, hangers underneath. underneath. Yeah, so so it's making it look like there's a lot, but there really isn't that much. Um, Look it's just, at all this space. There's so much space, and there's all this space, but also all my drawers are like half empty now under my bed, so we're really in a good place. I do feel really good about it. Here is the final result. It probably now looks just as full as it did before, but that's because I've hung up a lot of stuff that was previously in drawers under my bed. Like I hung up a bunch of pants. Also, since filming the clean out portion of this video, I then knew some of the things that I had grown out of that weren't fitting me, so I knew to replace so I replaced a few items if you'd like a video seeing the clothes I bought post weight loss to replace the clothes that I had to get rid of let me know because I can do a try on haul but yeah here's the the final look at the cleaned out closet and let me say I haven't missed a single piece that I got rid of this was like weirdly <laughs> emotional I don't know if any <laughs> what it is <laughs> It's weirdly emotional. I don't I know. know if anybody else has this when they when they do like a true deep 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 clean. I'm afraid of you. I'm walking away. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like weirdly cathartic. Is that the word? I don't know. I'm just like it's like a release and I know like right now it feels kind of weirdly sad but I know tomorrow I'll wake up and be like oh thank god it's done and I did that and like that clutter is out of my life and these things are going to be loved by people who need them and that makes me really happy. So I really encourage you guys to take the time to clean out your life. It really is something that's good to do. It's just fresh, you know? I feel fresh, I feel good. And now I know exactly what I actually need. Like I know that I need black sneakers because now I got rid of my black sneakers. I know exactly what items I need to replace. Like I got rid of most of my sweatpants and hoodie sets. So I need a few matching sweatpants and hoodie sets. I know what I need and I know exactly what I do not need. And that feels really good in, it, in and of itself. So that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it maybe inspired you to do the same in your life. And um, click up here if you want more Molly. And over here if you want even more Molly. And I'll see you next time.